Hi Purple Lights, welcome to our next reading guys. So you see four piles in front of you, part one, and I have different beautiful butterflies, part two, part three, and part four. On these cards, you see fairy tales, and I want to do this reading. I had um, a very good idea, and I think you will like it. It's about your soul connection to your person, and how the universe is turning that from what fairy tale into what fairy tale, you know? So this is the beginning. So choose whatever you feel drawn to, the card that you feel most drawn to. This is um, the energy you are in right now with your soulmate. And we're going to look into what are the energies right now. And then we're going to look into what is the universe turning this... Um, yeah, how is the universe turning this around, all right? Because I think that's um, a very cool idea to do. And we're going to use all different kinds of fairy tale cards. There are not many, you know, there are not many um, like art that includes fairy tales. Um, I want to use the inner child tarot deck. This is also a tarot deck that uses fairy tales as depictions. Um, we're going to use, this is the um, Oracle de la Nuit, and I also want to use the Tarot de la Nuit, whereas this, those are normal cards, like those are not fairy tale cards, just the Oracle depicts fairy tales. And then I have also um, another Oracle that I want to um, unpack. This is, I newly got this one, this is the Fairy Tale Oracle cards. Enchanted guidance through the magic of fairy tales. I want to unbox this with you from the Umbrella Tree Press. Okay, so we're gonna look into these cards. Um, so choose your piles, and then I'm gonna uncheck the deck with you, and then you can go to your piles. Okay, so this is pile one, this is pile two, this is pile three, and this is pile four. I don't think I have to say anything to the fairy tales because you see them on the picture. Um, I say something to that when we are at the past, because this is part of the reading, you know, I, I, I didn't choose those cards, um, I um, shuffled them, okay, so they are part of this reading. And then um, we're going to look into in what way is the universe turning, or in what fairy tale is the universe turning your energy within with your soulmate. Yeah, I hope this makes sense. <laughs> we will figure it out at the reading, but I think it's a very cool idea. So let's go. Let's unpack first and then I'm seeing you at the pies. So guys, let's unpack the um, Fretro Oracle. I think this is very cool. I haven't used it before. I wanted to, but the timing wasn't right. And I think I have this for like half a year already, this beautiful deck or even more, I don't remember. But I wanted to unpack it with you on the channel. This is a tarot deck from the Kickstarter, like, you know, where you could um, sponsor the deck. <clears throat> so I thought that was really cool. So you are involved in the process from the beginning, you know, when they um, do these decks. <clears throat> so let's look into them. And this is the deck we're using. In what way is your... Ah, come on. With nails, it's always so hard to open. Especially when it's new. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, I love this. Look at this beautiful box already. Unravel the magic of fairy tales. I really love this. Beautiful. <clears throat> This is beautiful. So we have this Oracle deck. We're gonna read into this. And now we're having the cards. Oh my gosh, look, they have gold foil as well. So it's, oh, it's very gorgeous. <clears throat> beautiful. So you will see the fairy tales or kind of like fairy tales, you know, sometimes they're, oh yeah. Well, Robin Hood is not really a fairy tale, but <clears throat> wow, I love this. Look at this. That twin flame card right there. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I love this. That's so gorgeous. I love this. Look at those cards, guys. So we're going to use this deck. Really beautiful. I'm very fond of fairy tales. When I studied in university, you know, I had also film science. I studied a little bit of film science. And so I had a whole semester of like um, depictions of fairy tales. So if we go into this realm, I will talk a little bit more about the, um, well, I can't really talk about the, the, um, I'm not want to talk about this social sociology aspect of fairy tales. You know why they were written? Because fairy tales, as you know, are tales that the public was telling, you know, and it was generational wise. It was, um, yeah, it was not like no one wrote it down. First people were like the brothers Grimm and I lived where they lived. Like, you know, they lived in a um, little town in Germany and I was studying even close to this town where they lived. So that's what makes it, you know, <clears throat> very nice. This whole um, topic. Yeah. Also, I lived where Hesse, Hermann Hesse was living. It's very funny. I lived like one one village away. <laughs> well, not that that makes any sense, you know, because um, <laughs> that was like a long time ago. But um, yeah, in Germany, there are a lot of um, a lot of famous musicians like, you know, from the 1700s and like, what do you say? Writers, famous writers, like almost in every you know corner where you go living here there's like when you say oh in our town you know this and that person um grew up and you're like oh my gosh okay you know so in my hometown for example Bach you know Johann Sebastian Bach grew up he was born here so it's very interesting very nice very cool to have all this history surrounding yeah okay so now we're gonna start I see you at the piles, guys. Okay, bye. So, hello, my pile one. You chose the beautiful green butterfly, fitting perfectly in our. Oh my gosh, I love it. <laughs> fitting perfectly in our decoration, and you chose the little red riding hood. I want to show you the picture closer. Aren't those pictures gorgeous? I mean, look at this art. I'm. I'm. I. I really love this. The Little Red Riding Hood number six could be important. Okay, see, we all know the story of the Little Red Riding Hood. You know, girl um, is told by mom to go to visit her grandma. And then while she's walking through the forest, she meets the wolf. And then, you know, he distracts her. He kind of like, um, yeah asks for the address and everything you know and then he's like going to the grandma and he's eating grandma and little red riding hood and a hunter comes and saves them at the end of the fairy tale so that's what this fairy tale is is about and um we all know that fairy tales are written not because you know a writer sat down and wrote the story it's um j you know those tales were told in the evening because people you know, they were bored. <laughs> they didn't know what to do in Germany. There was no TV, no internet, you know. <laughs> we're talking like the Middle Ages here. So those are like times, um, I think it, it was seven, not Middle Ages. That was maybe a little bit catched too, like caught too far. But um, 1780, I think was the timing, 7080. <clears throat> well, I'm not, I don't know. I don't remember that much, but um and I don't want to say anything what might be wrong, you know. So if you want to know when those tales were written down by the Brothers Grimm, I think it was in the 17th century. But those tales were, you know, they moved on from generation to generation. So, um, yeah, we could as well talk of um, Middle Ages where people didn't have anything to do in the evening. And so they were like gathering around in their room and telling each other tales. 
and this was one of these tales and of course you could interpret it you know in different ways you can always um, interpret fairy tales in each way and I don't want to use like any interpretation I just want to um, yeah maybe say something because we want to look we want to look how is your story with your soulmate now we don't want to look into the other aspects of this fairy tale how this fairy tale can be you know interpreted in the sense like okay you know some people say it you should listen to your parents you should not um you know as a child you should not get distracted you know you should listen to your parents otherwise you can get lost <laughs> something like that you know but i don't want to interpret it in this way because we're here you know we're talking about our soul story and our journeys with our divine counterparts so um also i want to say i have another channel you can find this on my page and please go up go there and sign up because um you know this is very important might be very important for many of you um, and there I only talk about twin flame, soul connections, whatever you call it, you know. So in the sense of this story, I feel like this, the right, Red Riding Hood is about being awakened by the universe. You know, I see the mother as kind of like this nurturing awakening that you experience when you awaken to your soulmate journey, you know, to the universe overall. You know, some of us awaken to a soulmate, to a twin flame. Some of us awaken before all of that. So this is like the awakening. And then the universe puts you on a path. And, you know, the wolf is this kind of like, um, let's say the 3D world that gets us distracted a lot. Yeah. And so this is about being lost in the woods. So I feel right now what is happening here. You know, we could see the grandma maybe as your soulmate. Yeah, let's let's say it like this. Where you go, you are on your way to your soulmate. You want to find them. You know, you, you are on a twin flame journey maybe. You know, whatever you call that. But you could say that the wolf is like the 3D distraction that finds your soulmate. And then your soulmate is like gone, you know, because they're like really focused on their 3D life and they're not interested maybe in this journey anymore. So this is what we could see as our story here, because, you know, we want to interpret it like for our cause here for the channel. So we could say that um, maybe at the moment in your journey, one of you or two, the two of you are kind of lost in this 3D gaze. Yeah, we also see here this... Um, this fog, not really knowing where to go in this maze. You know, we could see the forest as a maze. We could see as um, the things that you should bring to grandma as the awakening that you bring to your soulmate, the enlightenment, the love, you know, everything what you have to offer. But it's not seen, you know, because if you're lost, you won't get there, right? And if your person is eaten by the wolf, which speaks of maybe a 3D world, then you won't get there as well you know so this is this the story I how you know we could see it that at the moment you guys are like lost and it needs a hunter it needs some miracle from the outside to really help you find your way and your soulmate to find a way and this is i think where you're stuck right now yeah but let's see what the universe is saying more about the journey yeah we have this three of swords you can see very nice the picture you know this is about you feeling stuck we see this here as well yeah <clears throat> it's like you're not free there's this uh, there's a dead bird in her hand um so this is about you in your journey you're kind of lost in the woods you don't know how to get to your soulmate you know and it doesn't matter if, you know, you met the wolf. Maybe the wolf could also mean your distractions, you know, um, distractions in your life from the outside world. Wow, we have the six of wands. 
this is how um, you know the universe is saying this is your potential like this is the outcome at the end where you know we will see in what fairy they, they, they will turn it the six of wands is all about success on the journey and you know this is you being this gorgeous fairy look at this looks like a fairy right so this is you in all your beauty. This is where you want to get to. You know, it's almost like also the, the little bit riding hood is a girl. You know, this is about growing up and leaving the innocence also behind. Yeah, the innocence in this journey. We could also speak of that because a soul journey, you know, various you're on your soul journey, you lose a lot of innocence, right? We're losing people um, just because they don't fit in our surrounding anymore in our frequency yeah a lot of people have to leave um especially f like friends or family you know when you realize you are on a total different planet than most of these people it's like you you kind of always the outsider i also see that with the red riding hood you know um always being this outsider always ticking different and no one really gets you yeah and when you're awakened, you begin to not care about those things anymore because you know the reason. And I feel here this is what you need to, you need to find your purpose. This is about finding your purpose, okay? Yeah, and we have the Empress. See, you're like the sleeping Empress, yeah? Or your soulmate is, yeah. We could even see this as the soulmate, yeah? The Empress, your person could be a Taurus or someone who is very abundant. Yeah, the Empress is an energy, look at this. The Empress is an energy who is very abundant, but completely focused on 3D life. The Empress is the ruler with the Emperor of the 3D world. And this is what gets you this heartbreak. It's like, you know, your person is still asleep in the 3D. It's kind of like you're on your own in this journey. So we can definitely see her, like your soulmate, your twin flame as this sleeping Empress, as the grandma. <laughs> You know, if we do, I think it's a nice allegory. It's a nice um, way to to speak about those journeys, right? So let's get one more card, and then we're gonna see in what the universe is turning this. Yes, and we have the five of swords. Yeah, you feel robbed. This is like feeling robbed and um, being bitter about the journey. Yeah, it's not really turning out the way you want it to turn out, and this is also defeat. This card speaks of defeat. It's um, like she is in this beautiful dress, like you are in this beautiful dress, you know, you've been through the ringer, you have grown up in this whole journey, but it's kind of like your soulmate, your person is still sleeping and they're not helping you in any way. So it's like kind of you fight on your own. This is this um, energy of, okay, I have to fight on my own. I, I am on my own, even if I have all this um the stress and maybe the abundance in a 3D life, you know, um, there's still two people that are needed for this journey to work out. Yeah, so that's exactly what I'm seeing. It's like a lot of um, defeat coming through in this journey. So you might feel, you know, experiencing heartbreak in this journey, feeling left out. In the cold by your soul connection fighting on your own trying to grow up a bit but it's kind of like um also with the riding hood with a red cape you know the red cape is in is important because it signifies the passion you have to find your soulmate and we also see this here in these beautiful cards that um speak of that you're actually already wearing the dresses of success look how beautiful those dress are in those um you know it looks royal and divine and so you're already wearing this dress but you cannot really adapt it or you cannot really use it to to get to where you are yeah and this cape this red cape signifies your passion you want to be at your you know you want to get to the empress you want to go there but somehow you're lost somehow you don't know how to escape the wolf somehow you're not knowing on how to not distract yourself on this path it's like um, you're very much caught in the 3D world, yeah? It's like you're trying to build up your own 3D presence. 
knowing one day you get there because we have these success cards, but at the moment you're feeling very much defeated because you fight on your own, basically. That's your situation, okay, my pile um, one. So let's look in what is the universe turning this. This is interesting. And I, I also want to get a card on what's happening next. Let's get this first. What is the key? I'm going to do what is the key, okay? And I'm doing this with the inner child fairy tale cards. What is the key in this journey? How can I one turn this defeat around? What is the key in this journey? And please apply to your 3, 3D situation because it can be different for each and every one of you. Um, what this defeat means in your journey, yeah? It could be that um, your soulmate you know, they're not, that there's no communication, they're not reaching out, the, you know, you parted ways, um, something like that. It's like you're f definitely fighting on your own. <clears throat> so let's see, what is the key? And we have the five of swords, the defeat. Again, again, we have this defeat. And we see here the sky, I mean, there's no real fairy tale here to that story, but we see the sky on his island. This is like almost like being lost at the island. We see here this sword of truth. Yeah, it's because there's a boat. Yeah, but you know, for a longer journey, you cannot use this boat to get away from this island. So you're kind of stuck. It's the same feeling that I'm getting. You're kind of stuck, but because it's a, it's a sword card, um, it's about a stuckness in the mind. This is something like a, a conditioning, I'm feeling, you know, something that is told you a lot of times in 3D where you cannot reach your soulmate because of a conditioning that you have in your mind. Yeah, and I'm not saying that, um, you know, conditionings are things that we are told by other people or, you know, conditionings in real life where. There are situations in your life right now where you cannot make a move and you feel stuck in your head because you don't see any solution to the problem. So it's kind of like, again, this being stuck. First, we saw it in Riding Hood, being stuck in the woods. And now we see it here on the island, being stuck on this island. You know, in whatever way this is. For ex I want to make an example for you to understand because this is like, you know, we're talking just in philosophical, philosophy thoughts, you know. But to give you a real 3D example would be something like um, you want to be, um, oh, what can we use? You want to be a doctor, okay? But in order to go to university, your grades need to be, um, you know, there's a certain grade that you need to have in order to enter university. Or... You know, and that's why you're stuck because you don't have this grade, but you still want to become a doctor. So what should you do? You know, things like that. Or in re in in the sense of having a relationship with a soulmate, it's like your soulmate lives in another country and you cannot go there because of, you know, money problems or because of um, things where you don't get a job there or you have someone here you have to look for. So you cannot just leave and live somewhere else. This is like, you know, it's something where you're stuck or it's like, um, let's say you want that your ex comes back. You know, a lot of times we want that our exes come back and we're still holding on to some kind, some parts of their energy. You know, that's how it, it's always like this, you know, until some time is gone and there's always this, um, this stuckness and a lot of times we think we have to go back yeah and this is what this mindset is is all about being stuck in the mind it's like you're having this especially when um, relationships end and i think many of you know this or many of you remember that when re a relationship ends you think about um oh my gosh i will never meet a guy like this again you know and this keeps this is part of letting go of that person this is part of heartbreak you know having um finding a solution to heartbreak it's always part of this that you're you know you go through a phase where you have this feeling you will never find a person again to love you know and this is what this is and you have to overcome this yeah you need to overcome this stuckness 
especially from conditioning. So let's look into these beautiful new cards to see in what way the universe is turning this relationship around. So let's see. Pile one, the red riding hood. In what way, like in what fairy tale are you turning this? And this is not for the worse. It's always for the better. You know, I'm not looking into, okay, what fairy tales is wor worse and what situation is worse, you know. So I want to take this card. Is this one card? Because they're really thick. Oh my gosh, it's the first card again. I love this. Wow, look at this. Oh, I love this. It's like your person comes and help you, helps you. You see this here? <clears throat> they help you learn certain skills that you need to overcome in order to overcome this stuckness. This is really beautiful. It's kind of like the universe is, um, you know, the merry adventures of Robin Hood. And we all know Robin Hood, you know, stole from the rich and gave it to the poor. So basically, I'm feeling that there is a situation coming in your life where your soulmate, your twin flame, whatever you call it, will help you. It doesn't mean that you guys have to be together, you know, you can be still separated, but it's kind of like in energy, you help each other, you go, you, you realize you go the same way. This is especially true for twin flames, you know. This is, is about sharing the abundance, sharing knowledge, sharing. It's kind of like you work in a team. That That's what I'm seeing. It's like, bef yeah, before you were the riding horn, you were a lot like lost in the woods. And I feel here what the universe is turning the situation into is like teamwork, you know. So this guy here could either be another soulmate that's coming in, like another person. Or it could be your person, you know, your twin flame, your soulmate, please apply it as it fits. I'm, I want to get three more cards to explain this and what the universe is turning this. Yeah, we have this again. Look at this, it's beautiful. And here we have the Empress Awakened. Look at this. This is no joke. I feel they awaken your person. This is like the universe is giving them a wake up call to bring abundance to you as well. It's like they're saying, um, you know, this is the hunter. I feel the hunt. Oh my gosh, they bring in the hunt. Yes, because I just said, you know, the hunter. <laughs> this is crazy. Like, you see how the universe works? That's crazy, right? Because I said the hunter comes and saves um, the grandma and the little riding hood. And if we talk about the grandma being your twin flame or soulmate, then, you know, the hunter is needed. So the hunter could either be um, the universe helping your empress, your soulmate to awaken and bring abundance to you. So they're working with your person in order for them to come in and help you in order to turn this stuckness around and bring abundance because the empress is all about abundance as well. And look how beautiful these cards fit together. Yes, look at this D6. I can't believe this. This is about an equal give and take. It's not only you walking the path. It's not only you doing the things, you know? Yes, mom, oh my gosh. Like what the F? Like this is like, look at God, look at you guys. <laughs> this is union, this is 3D union. Wow, I did not expect this. And the six of pentacles is like, you know, giving an equal take. This is like, um like bringing the journey to a whole. It's like they really send in the hunter. Wow. And the hunter could be um, someone that, like another person that's accidentally in your journey that helps bring you guys together again or, you know, like make this union happen. It's either the universe, it's an, like um, a spirit guide that is awakening your empress, your person, because I, we saw the Empress as your soulmate, so I want to keep it here, you know. But then again, we have this couple. Yeah, so if we tr um, translate this, we can say that, you know, there is an equal give and take. The universe will create. I feel the hunter is the universe. It's like the universe will create a situation 
where the two of you will come together in 3D. This is beautiful because the Empress and the Emperor are together in 3D, right? This is not a spiritual um, union because you guys are always, you know, especially if we have a twin flame or a higher soulmate, it's always union. 5D is always union. But this is 3D and we have Pentacles, which speaks of an equal give and take in the reality, in the 3D. And um, yeah, the Robin Hood, this is like a help. This is someone that helps. It could be a third party that's actually helping you guys. Yeah, something like a friend that's coming in that help that's helping you coming together. Or this is um, another person coming in. Please take it as it fits, you know. It could also be another person that's coming in that's more fitting to be your emperor. If we see the Empress, um, you know, as your person, you could see yourself as well in masculine energy, you know, please take it as it fits, but you could always switch sides again, yeah? But I definitely see here that there is a help bringing this together. This could also be described as the Cupid bowl. That's why she's aiming at those two. I don't think this is a third party, but please apply it as it fits, you know? If the hunter is coming in to take away the wolf, you know, that, this, that the wolf is a third party, then this is happening. You know, that this third party um, is being brought because it's not fitting, you know, because um, those people are not meant for each other. But there's something happening here where the universe is bringing in this hunter and this, this person is really um, bringing help to you and a lot of abundance so that there is an equal share and an equal give and take and the two of you can be together how beautiful is that wow this is gorgeous but what you need to overcome is especially this mindset of being stuck okay my pal um you need to think that this hunter exists you need to think that um help is coming um, it's important to believe in your journey. This is all what I'm seeing here in my part one, that you really believe in it, that you guys can be a, um, a couple in 3D, that you guys can come together. Yeah, It's all about leaving this mindset behind of being stuck on an island and no one is really helping you. Um, the universe is always by your side. But sometimes, you know, when we are lost in the woods, like this riding hood, it's because, um, you know, it's not the divine timing yet. And maybe... The grandma, maybe your person, needed to be eaten by the wolf, you know, in order to wake up, in order to um, see that they're actually um, being swallowed by all this 3D um, false matrix stuff, you know, if you understand what I mean. So this is happening. This is actually really beautiful. I hope you like this reading, guys, and I'm saying goodbye. See you again. Hello, my pal too. Welcome to your reading. You chose this beautiful blue butterfly. It fits perfectly to this Cinderella card. I really love this. Look at this beautiful, gorgeous card. So your journey at the moment is like the Cinderella fairy tale. This is very interesting. So I want to talk a little bit about the story. You know, so we all know. I think not many of you don't know the Cinderella story, right? So, um, she has these three wishes and she is like, you know, one of her wishes is to go to this um, ball or what do you say, ball? You, to this dance event, you know, where she has to wear a mask, you know, where she has, well, she's not wearing a mask, but she has to dress up as someone else in order to be accepted by the prince, right? So she's kind of like faking it in order to make it, you know? And then, um, but she has only a limited time. Um, after that, it's like, you know, at 12 o'clock she has to leave and she's, she's leaving her shoe behind. So it's kind of the only thing the prince has to identify who that person was he fell in love with is her shoes. So this means that let's try to think about how can we translate this to our soul journey, to your journey with your person? Because we want to, you know, we're talking about a soul journey here. Um, I really want to use 
a journey to your person, to your one. So first of all, I want to look into the cards. I want to get more cards. So we could say that there is a situation with your person where, you know, in order to be with each other, in order to make, yeah, to meet each other or to be with each other, you had to be someone else. You know, you, you guys, um, one of you had to fake the energy in order for you to be together. So this is especially true for like, you know, if we think of twin flames, you know, being in different frequencies when they meet and then having this passionate meeting, like really falling in love with each other, but then at the same time realizing, you know, not being able to unify with each other in this whole context. And then um, because of that, being afraid to change, you know, it's, it's always this being afraid to change, being afraid to show your true authentic self. This is Cinderella is about showing your true authentic self. Your person doesn't know your true authentic self or you don't know the true authentic self of your person because they live through their persona. Um, this could be especially true if we're talking about um, a twin flame with a celebrity counterpart. If you identify as such, please go to my other channel. I have a whole channel about this. Yeah, so please go there and sign up. There are a lot of readings concerning this. So this could be true, you know, one of you has to establish a persona in order to interact with you, yeah, or in order to be able to, because they cannot show their, their, they cannot show their true authentic self, yeah. This is especially true for celebrities. How should they, you know, well, they could, but a lot of them choose not to show their true authentic self. They live a lot of times through their persona. You know, in order to hide their, pers their, their true authentic self or they don't want to show it to the world. But that's what happens. And the only blueprint you're having, and this is nice because it's, it's again talking about the blue. The only blueprint you have is this shoe, that fitting shoe, and the knowing, the inner knowing. It's like the inner blueprint. It's like a DNA where you know this is your person. This is my twin flame because you know. It's like you... We all hear this story, you know, when you look into each other's eyes, when you meet each other, when you feel the energy, you instinctly know this is your person. Yeah. <laughs> the king of pentacles. Exactly. You know, that's the king. That's the Cinderella prince. And I, I love how these cards actually fit very good. We could, we could do our little fairy tale here out of this. We could write a movie out of this. Isn't that cool? It looks like we're really fitting to the Cinderella. <laughs> I mean, it's the same, um, you know, this is the uh, Tarot de la Nuit and this is the Oracle de la Nuit. So it's from the same um, artist. So it makes sense that it fits so beautifully together. But we see this King of Pentacles, you know, using a persona. Maybe you also have to use a persona, you know, there's something like um, between the two of you, there is like this, this need in order to really be with each other to really let go of your ego and really let go of these personas that you um, put yourselves in, but to really see um, that you guys are wearing the same shoes, yeah? And for your person, um, they have to realize that you are the one, you know? It doesn't matter, like, if for them you are just one of many, then it doesn't matter, you know? A relationship would not function, right? If your soulmate thinks you're not the one, you're just one of a lot of people and they could have you know a relationship with someone else that like easily and they don't understand the value of this connection it doesn't make sense anyway right and this is what i see here is the case at the moment it's like kind of like mm, neither of you can show their true authentic self to the other person or maybe your person cannot. Maybe your person is, is in this um, feminine energy and you're more the masculine. Yours, you know, you are standing to your values because we see here the masculine is like, you know, he's like not bothering at all. It's like saying, well, I don't care. You know, I'm me. So please take it as it resonates. Could be that you're divine feminine. You are in this masculine energy at the moment and you're saying, well, I don't care. Shit, you know. I'm who I am, but maybe your person, <clears throat> whatever gender, 
but that they are in divine feminine energy and they have to use personas in order to because they cannot show who they are the eight of cups yeah this is about mm, you know this card is about following something greater it's about something like being always on the lookout um never having enough and th this is what i was saying you know it's this this is i feel what is in between the two of you is this search for more this is this energy where you're never satisfied with with what you're having and i think this is here the problem because a lot of times these relationship or these connections fall apart or are delayed for a long time because one of the people one of you guys is not understanding the specialty of this connection the the uniqueness of this connection they're thinking well you know it's just one of many it's not my one you understand and i think this is what i see here it's about realizing the worth of this connection and i think this is what has not happened yet in this connection yeah please apply to your situation but this is what is going on within your journey it's like yeah the four of swords you know one of you has realized and is waiting on the other person we see here the timing now yeah, we see here the timing and um maybe you're waiting on your person and you're waiting for a long time we see this here and you know they're not realizing how special this connection is they're not seeing the worth in it and if someone is not seeing the worth in this connection it does not matter anyway you know it's like they need to see that the shoe is only fitting on your feet and not on other people's feet this is what it is all about this is what cinderella is about it's like only one person can wear the shoe and not many it's like realizing this connection that you're having realizing the specialty seeing that only the two of you can have this connection and no one else there 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 is not you know sometimes when we are in twin flame connections <clears throat> we don't even value this connection we think like okay i can have a soulmate and it's the same stuff you know no it's not right yeah look at this um she's like sitting in a church and really the three of pentacles is about co-creating with the universe it's like about waiting on that person really being passionate and um we see this divine feminine here in this church this this speaks for me of loyalty this speaks of me having known what's special like the specialty of this connection so i definitely see that one of you be it feminine or masculine it does not matter one of you has does know how special this connection is one of you does value it you see how she's holding that flame or that whatever this is like this let's call it like a the source energy you know the source energy of your connection and one of you has already um realized how special this is in the mind because the blue butterfly is also about the mindset you know understanding the whole thing understanding for what it is and waiting on the other person to make the same move and then we have another person who is very concentrated on 3d and not seeing the worth of this whole thing and thinking this shoe from cinderella is like fitting everyone you know it's like they're saying well you know i can i can make any woman my wife this is what cinderella is about the shoe is only fitting on one person right and he's looking for that person he's searching for that person and this is what you, you know divine journeys are all about right so this is actually very beautiful to see so now we're having your story how it is at the moment now we're gonna see what is the key we're gonna look into what is the key what is the key that you have to work on or what is the key in this journey the significant key what is the significant key here in this cinderella story what is the significant key and i feel this card is it's it oh wow ace of hearts <laughs> yeah understanding the specialty you know this is those are the mermaids you know this is a fairy tale this is something that almost doesn't exist because well it doesn't exist right fairy tales don't exist 
they do actually right they do fairy tales exist Mer mermaids don't exist yeah but it's like for the key here is for both parties because it's not only one that needs to realize how crazy and special that connection is it's for the two of you to understand that this is a divine love this is a love that's given by god or by spirit by the universe and both of you have to understand it and because this is a twin flame you see this here you guys are the same you have to understand this and if if one person is not understanding the whole journey it does not make sense for a union in 3d because you know if one person is always thinking you could be replaced by another then um what's the use of such a special connection yeah this is about the opening of the heart of both of you and it's also um, about the timing um both of you letting this love in both of you understanding and both of you also accepting the universe so it could be if your divine counterpart is still very much involved in 3d they're not seeing this journey they're not they're not able to see it yeah so this is all about divine timing here this is all about an equal understanding in the mind of this journey so let's see in what fairy tale is the universe and this is always for the better you know i'm not talking about something that is turned to worse so let's see in what way is the universe changing this story up like to in, into what fairy tale and here because the cards are really new it's very hard to shuffle I want to take this because I have I have to do it like this at the moment okay so let's see what wow we have these six servants I want to read this because I don't know that fairy tale but th this looks like doesn't it look like a pirate story <laughs> what is this the six servants I gotta read this wow but look at this they put your guy in a boat and look how blue this is again yeah, perseverance. It's about um, the long time, the long term. It's about patience, guys. Again, you know, Cinderella is um, about time running out because she changes at midnight, right? And then she's she's falling into her old self, and it's this. It's always this fear of losing out on the journey, for especially for the divine feminine. It's about um, you know, don't you don't think that your prince is finding you. And this is what he's doing here you know he's coming to your island he's he's gonna find you this is what i see here with the six servants almost like the six of swords card where you move you know you make a move it's like the divine counterpart will make a move when they are ready when they are part of this journey when they have understood this special connection and we also see here like it looks like a ring or something i want to read the booklet because i don't know the fairy tale but it looks like they find that special ring so it's the same as the prince putting the shoe on you right and seeing that only you it's fitting only on you and not on many people because it's a special shoe it's not a shoe like with 37 who every woman can wear <laughs> you know isn't it beautiful how this fits like i love when this happens it's always the same it's like universe is like kind of ending the story but with another fairy tale so let's let's read what this is all about because um i want to see what it says perseverance the six servants a prince sets off on a daring daring voyage to win the hand in the marriage of a princess he meets six men on his journey and brings them along to be his servants when the prince arrives at the castle he is told to fulfill three tasks to gain the daughter's hand in marriage okay the first task is to find a ring dropped in the Red Sea. Oh, this is interesting. This is about finding, the, you know, finding like puzzle pieces. It's like almost um, finding puzzle pieces to go on the journey. The prince uses the, the talents and power of his servants to complete his task. So the servants are kind of like helpers from the universe that your person meets on their path. Each task is more challenging than the next. However, the prince never gives up and he's focused on his goal. Your mind may tell you that it is time to quit. Look at this, it's exactly what we said. It's about the mind. Your mind may tell you that it is time to quit, but your heart keeps you going when faced with setbacks. The finish line is nowhere in sight, yet your staying power to follow through to end is what is needed to achieve your dreams. See? 
Perseverance is easier when you have a clear vision of where you are going. Connect with your support network and use their help. Draw inspiration from many sources and encourage yourself. In the end, the sweet victory of success will be worth it all. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, let's get more cards. But I'm feeling this is about, um, you know, the prince finding you. This is about not giving up. Don't worry, he will find you. Kind of story lines, you know. This is beautiful. Can I see? Yeah, look at this. The universe is really turning the wheel. This is about luck coming your way. This is about um, the universe um, really, um, you know, the wheel is when the universe steps in. The universe bringing luck your way. This is gorgeous to see. So there will be a lucky, lucky turn of events where your person will find this ring and they will help. Like they will have help from others. Oh my gosh, this is like, this is from another deck. You see this? And it's in here. I love this. And this is where they find the specialty. You know, they see that you are not like the others. Oh my gosh, that's like so crazy. Like, how is this working? <laughs> this is beautiful. It's like when you look eye to eye and they see that only you are the one that's having this ring. Only you are the one that the universe chose for them. Only you are the one that they need to find. It's not about putting this ring on like a thousand people, you know, and saying, yeah, you know, it's, it's easy to have someone today, nowadays. What, what is, what are those um, soul bonds, you know, I can just take anyone. This is how usually most masculines are, right, at the beginning of the journey. They don't, do not understand that the soulmate or the twin flame is someone special, you know, the four of cups. Yeah, but you know. You're waiting on this. Um, this is also you persevering. You see how she's not interested in other cups? Because she only wants this person. And that's what I said. It's about knowing. yeah. And this is what will turn around. The universe will show them that it's only this cup and not all the others. This is beautiful. That's exactly what I was saying. Gorgeous, guys. Wow, I really love this reading. If you like this reading as well, please... Give it a thumbs up. Please sign up to the channel if you're here for the first time. Yeah. And yeah, here I think Divine Feminine, you know, you, you this is all activity that comes from the Divine Masculine. Of course, go your go through your journey. Um, never lose hope. Never quit the journey. Yeah. Trust in the universe. Here it's really all about trust. Pile two. Okay. So this is all what I'm having. Take care. Bye. Now my part three. You chose this beautiful um, butterfly. The, um, what is this color? Pinkish. Yeah, let's call it pinkish. Beautiful pinkish butterfly. Beautiful. And the fairy tale of Sherazad. This is very interesting because, um, you know, this is like a fairy tale that's like from the Orient or, you know, and it talks about a king um, who is, you know, like his wife, I think it is his wife, right? His wife is unfaithful to him and he is like so much in, in his grief and his anger that he marries a woman every day and then kills her the next day, right? Until he meets Scheherazade, I hope I speak her name right, Scheherazade, who begins to tell him stories about herself, about her life, about what she's made of, you know, about just about her personality and her art. And then he's so captivated that he forgets that, you know, he's supposed to only, like in his mind, in his mindset, in his values, in his um, anger, that he only wants to spend one day, right? And then she needs to go. So what happens is like they spend like thousand and one nights together and then he marries her, right? And she is his woman. So I feel what happening here is that you and your person, right? It was like a kind of like a wish fulfillment when you met. It was kind of like, oh my gosh, you know, we just met. Um, this is like providence of the universe. It was like the universe guided you towards each other. But 
because of the past, you know, we always have past wounds because how can you translate this story into a context that it fits to our soul stories, to our twin flame stories, to our soul journeys on our path, yeah? And I feel this is speaking of, you know, past wounds that we all have been through, past hurt, you know, when um, people ghost you or, you know, you have a very bad relationship, a toxic relationship, I feel here. So I get definitely think that your person, you know, they don't believe in love anymore. This is like this person that doesn't want to marry and they don't believe in love anymore. And they say, um, you know, like, what is the use of it? I just have maybe one night stands or, you know, they're not interested in any relationship. Could be that they like the ever walking single on this earth, you know, but um, like not someone who is waiting kind of like a divine feminine but more of a, in the sense of you know that they're not caring about the, the energy that they're exchanging with other people so they're like having a person every day or they're like interested in um casual relationships well not not relationship casual connections you know one night stands um just feeding their ego or you know becoming satisfied but not actually seeing a relationship as end goal or not seeing a relationship at all. And then you came into their life and they were like really completely blown off their feet. It's like you put this person, like their whole value system was questioned when you came. I feel really that, um, you know, it was like a wish come true for you to meet your person. Now you wrapped, wrapped this lamp and, you know, the universe brought you guys together. And um, it could also be that you guys only know in each other in energy but you have never met this can as well be and your person is afraid that if they meet you you know if you guys end up to like that you guys end up together and then their whole value system is questions because they don't believe that um a real love like this exists they might even sit there and think oh my gosh this is just for the short term you know what if i um Maybe she has delusions and if we meet, then I destroy her delusions because I only want something casual. I might want something like, you know, having a night together and then I want to leave again. I'm not interested in a relationship and she is. So they're kind of like don't want to destroy your expectations because they think to know what kind of person you are. And it's kind of like, you know, that they don't want to do that to you even that's what i'm getting so maybe they're not even coming forward because they're thinking well you know she thinks of me in some kind of way and i'm not like this i am someone who is not believing in connections or relationships i'm someone who is one day there the other day there i have my short-term relationships i maybe have been friends with benefits so i'm not interested in a relationship and then they're like, but they're really questioning their values. They're really questioning this. It's not that they say, oh my gosh, I don't want to meet her or I don't want to have a relationship with her. It's like um, you really question their values by being this mysterious Sherazade. I really feel that you captured them in some kind of way, maybe with your art, with your being, with something that you're doing, but they're really captivated by you. So this is a very nice... Um, you know, for my femi divine feminines, you know, you, you guys really made this person questioning their worth. That's that's your situations. Yeah. And these cards turned around, so I want to take them. Yeah. The Eight of Cups. You know, this person always moved on. They're always in the search. You know, the Eight of Cups is this. I just said this because this card came out in another pile. It's this, this card of, you know, I'm walking this path, but look at this. This path here, it's I don't know if you can see it, but this almost like looks like in the desert. It's nothing really there. So they don't value their life in the sense of, you know, they think there's there's no grounding for a relationship or there is nothing that they can offer to you, even if they could. But in their mind, you know, this is about not never being satisfied, always wanting to move on, always wanting to move on to the next adventure, never being satisfied. And you came in for the first time. Oh my gosh. And we have the King of Pentacles. Yeah, that's your person. You know, they could be very wealthy. They could be um, a celebrity, 
because that's what the King of Pentacles a lot of times says, you know, that they're very well situated in 3D life. Um, but it could just be that they are um, a Taurus, a Virgo or Capricorn. This could speak of that as well. Or a lot of times in Twin Flame Connections, the Divine Masculine shows up as the King of Pentacles. I just want to say this, okay? So please put it in the situation where it fits. But I definitely see that, um, you know, they're always moving on from women. Or let's say not women, for from partners. Because it could be either. It, it doesn't define, you know, gender. And then we have the chariot. It's like, again, look at this. I love when this happens. I mean, those are like the oracle of the, tar the Lanui. And this is the tar Tarot de Lanui. But it's like Sherazad again. Yeah, and this moon. You are very mysterious to this person. And they want to figure you out. It's like they can't stop thinking about you. They want to figure you out. You could be a Cancer energy because Chariot um, is ruled by Cancer. Um, you're very mysterious. It's like you wrap the right things on them. You know, you wrap the right mindset. Um, the pinkish here, it's almost like it's a very deep pink. So I feel that um, at first this person thought, you know, when you, you have this rose colored glasses on, at first they were like, oh my gosh, you know, this, this, this woman has their role or woman, this, you have rose colored glasses on. Um, you might as well, you're not fitting at all. You're not a match at all. And then they, you kind of like matched their energy in some kind of way though that it really touched them on a deeper level because it's not this rosé colored like the next pile where this this um you know this lovey dobby da energy is it's a very deep pink so it's like um at first they thought it's only superficial but then when they met you and you kind of like conquered them with your mindset you know because sherisa talks about her stories she is um, really making herself interesting so the divine counterpart the masculine is really interested like this king in that fairy tale is like really interested and he forgets what his values even were you know he forgets about this he forgets that he wants to move on every day he wants to stay it's like for the first time they think about staying with a person it's for the first time they feel something deeper this is what i'm seeing it's like you really captivated this person's um yeah, three of swords. They they brought heartbreak. A lot of like this person is someone that um you know they bring they usually bring a lot of heartbreaks to people. You know, they they don't feel free in relationships. It's like you see this here. She's holding like the bird, the dead bird. You know, and she's kind of like she. You see this here. It's kind of like she killed the bird. So. It's like they always kill the relationship themselves because they're very superficial or they're looking and they're not superficial. They're looking at relationships in a superficial way. And then for the first time, they're very interested in you. That, that's what the story is here. This is the, the storyline. Yeah, but the thing is, they're still running away from themselves. They're still running away from, from their own freedom within a relationship because you can have freedom within a relationship, yeah? Then especially when something is moving too fast with a chariot because she comes on this flying carpet like really fast coming in and really conquering him, you know? You, you, you know which boxes to tick in him. And so... Your person was like, oh my gosh, what's going on? You know, for the first time ever, they were like really captured by someone. But, you know, they're still running away from their feelings. Uh, that's what the problem here is, I feel. So let's see. I mean, that's why you're not together, right? Because otherwise you would be together. If something like this happens, like there's no need to not be together, right? You guys would be in union in 3D already. So let's see what is the key to the story pile three what is the key to this story what is important here what is overlooked and i want to take this card oh the six of crystals this is interesting what is this this is like finding look at this it's like conquering the the <laughs> like on <laughs> this looks like the snow white dwarves like climbing up a mountain like what is this i'm finding the snowflake 
yeah, it's like this person thinks that, you know, they found the one. And, um, you know, they're, they're still climbing up. It's about perseverance. It's about not giving up. The thing is, um, this is in the mindset here. It's about letting go of um, this mindset that they have that it never works out. Because they need to see that, you know, they found the special person, they climbed all the way up, you know, um, these people could be um, help or, you know, people in your surroundings, like your soul tribe, and they need to see that, you know, they made it, they made it all the way to the top. So why should give up? Like, why, why should they give up on such a special connection? Why should they leave you? Um, why not? moving on from their belief system because this is like the six of swords this is like moving on from a belief system that is like long gone you know like it's like you climb up this the, the mountain and when you're at the top you really feel that you can make it you really feel also that you have it in yourself to make it work so it's like this belief in themselves and this belief in that they can change their conditioning and that they can change this. Because I feel this is here more about the masculine that you captured their heart, but they're still running away from from themselves. Yeah, This is about staying with themselves and also not switching into different personas because they, you know, they don't think they are worth it. This is about a lot about it has a lot about something to do with self-worth, knowing that you can do it and also trusting your guidance. And, um, you know, if you capture them, why should they, you know, why should they run away from that? Why should they not try it? It's about trying, you know, also when you climb a mountain, it's about you try out you. you this is like a challenge. You know, it's not easy to climb a mountain. And if you have looked at these stories on the internet, a lot of times when people speak about climbing a mountain, <coughs> you know, sometimes you have to really use equipment and everything. You have to prepare. Um, you have to do challenges yourself, like really preparing yourself also in the mindset. And this is what I'm feeling here that your person really needs to overcome is this mindset. Okay, so let's see in what fairy tale will the universe turn this whole thing. And this is always for the better. I'm not talking about um, a fairy tale that's like, you know, that because this fairy tale is already nice, right? So let's see. I want to use, um, because they're stuck, they're still stuck together. So I have to do it like this because we just opened the box, right? It's this one. Yeah, these cards are very thick. Look like this. So let's see. Oh, wow. Transparency. The Pied Piper. I can't believe this. This is crazy. Wow. The Pied Piper. <clears throat> that's, that's really interesting. You know, the Pied Piper, he came to a town and he was betrayed by the people in this town. And then he, because he told them you know, he can sing a song and then all the rats are following him, right? And he brought those rats out of this and saved this town by doing it, like offering his service. And, you know, this town really, because of that service of the Pied Piper, they really, um, you know, got rid of all the rats in their city. <laughs> so, but then they didn't pay him, right? So at the end, he is like, um, playing the music to take their children away, right? So it's about being betrayed. It's about not be betraying himself anymore. This is about, yeah, this is about your person mostly. It's like, you know, because of this belief system that they have, it's like when you always think there's something better on the other side, you know, there's something better out there for me and you're never satisfied. And when you meet someone like you and you really know how to take the boxes so that they are really caught by your presence and are really um, happy in your presence so that they even forget about their own rules, about their own rule system, you know, but then they still run away from this connection. It's about they're kind of betraying their their happiness, right? They're kind of betraying the happiness. 
And then it's like the universe, like every time you betray your happiness, every time you ru you're running away from this beautiful connection um, and not accepting it, not seeing that special deep bond here, it's kind of like the universe is saying, you know, um, then we take you, then we take a away people when they are wanting it. It's kind of like the universe is then saying, you know, when you portray yourself, then we take away opportunities from you or we, you know, this, this is, this is what I'm feeling. Transparency. I want to read this because this is very interesting. What is this all about and what situation will this turn? It could also be that the universe is taking you away. Yeah, because he's taking away the children, the new beginning. Children always stand for the inner child, the happiness and the um, the lightheartedness. So it could be that the universe is bringing in situations for your person because they're not seeing, um, you know, they're still running away from themselves. So it's kind of like the universe is bringing in situation where they cannot run away from themselves anymore, where they have to deal with it. Okay, so I want to read this. It says, um, I hope you can see it. The Pipe Piper of Hamelin, authentic, honest, and sincere. There is a need for honesty and openness so that motives can be easily understood. See? In the story, the townspeople refuse to pay the Piper after he rids the town of rats. Exactly, that's what I said. In retaliation, Piper lures the town's children away with his magic pipe the same way he did the rats. The moral of the tale is that when you promise to pay for a service, even if the service seems small, you must be transparent and pay. Being transparent is a powerful way to earn people's trust. Whether at work or in your relationships, allow others to see and understand what is happening. Focus on developing mutual understanding and accountability. Your open and honest communication has the potential to bring about solutions. Your transparency is cultivating an environment where you and others thrive. Yeah, this is about being honest to yourself and to your person. About them, yeah, the masculine here, energy. The one that's running away from the Sherazad, right? So it's like they're kind of running away from this deep connection because um, they're not believing that they can give you what you deserve or they can give the relationship what both of you deserve. This, this is kind of like what it is. And this is a typical, you know, twin flame story that we're having here. It's like where they, they meet the one, they see the specialness in co your connection, but they still think you guys cannot make it. They still think they cannot offer you because um, they think it's it might be a delusion. They think it might be that they have rose red colored glasses on, um, you know, but they're not talking about this. This is also about transparent communication, like talk to me. You know, this is like you're probably waiting on this person to explain themselves. Maybe they just ran away. This is so typical, like, you know, ghosting, running away, not talking. Um, you know, so you, you don't know what's going on. It's like, um, you know, why are you not telling me? Yeah, you could just say, well, I, I, I want to make it work between us. And I'm fascinated by you. And I even forgot that I have those values. But still, I don't think, um, you know, I, I have to change first. And when you say those things, um, you know, you as a divine counterpart, you know what the point is, you know, so you can ac act accordingly, right? If we know what this other person wants or what our counterpart wants, and if they say, no, I need some timing, then it's okay, right? But if they don't say anything and they leave you hanging in, in, the, in the air, you know, and you have no idea what's going on, then this is not nice, right? This is not like ghosting and or like in the Sherazad, like killing um, the connection by just walking away and not explaining themselves. And I feel what's happening is, you know, that the universe is creating situation in this person's life in order for them to be transparent and to talk to you. This is all about, I feel that communication is coming in, you know. So let's see what else. Yeah, the angels are really creating, um, you know, this is about the angels stepping in. The temperance card is about tempering it out. Yeah, really um, mixing your guys' energy and in finding like um, a middle path that it's not like um, hot and cold, but it's something where you guys can work on. Yeah, the emperor. I feel that this person is really coming forward. The emperor is self 
administrating. The emperor is, you know, someone that rules their kingdom. So they can come up to you and talk to you and communicate with you and be transparent about their motives and their ideas and what they like about you. So I feel what the universe is turning this story of Sherazade in is that they will bring situation in this emperor's life where they have to really balance it out, you know, where they can't just run away. And they can't just steal your heart and run away with it, you know, because this is also like stealing your heart and running away with it, but not telling you how to get it back, <laughs> something like that, you know. It's like um, them, yeah, the Empress, look at this. We have again the divine counterpart. I love when this happens. This is like coming into union, yeah, mixing the energies. This is mixing of fire and water, mixing the energy, being transparent talking to each other this pipe piper is also about obsession yeah as we know because of the pipe piper um, song that you know the bts song yeah communication is coming in guys this is about manifestation of communication and you know this is it's like this per person is luring you in <clears throat> but um they never explained or they run away from from the responsibility of, you know, maybe um, if they fell in love with you, it's like they're getting cold feet and run away and they're not even telling you anything. So I feel the universe is turning this whole story into um, bringing situation to this emperor where he really has to deal with his own self, where really he, you know, he has to pay basically for the things he did not accept for, you know, he, he he wants the good things, you know, they, they, the city wanted that he gets the rats out of this town, but they didn't pay him. So it's kind of like, um, you know, this person took advantage of your heart. Basically, it's, it's, it, that's what it says. Basically, this person took advantage of your heart, but never explained themselves or they're never facing themselves in order or facing you. To explain themselves wh why and what and you know and give their share it's about an equal given share that we have here like the angels you know they're mixing in an equal amount it's about tempering out the energies it's about giving back to you paying you know so that's what i'm feeling here it's like this person will come up to you and they will give their share to you meaning not that they give a gift or something to you but you know they will come up to you and they will finally realize that um this connection is something special and that they really fall in love you know because this is the manifestation of this in 3d this is like making it happen coming up to you and really making making it happen that you guys can be together like forming a situation where you know like where you guys can come together this is really beautiful to see very gorgeous yeah very gorgeous <clears throat> have we looked at the key yeah the mountain i mean this was the key right yeah this is about um coming up to you yeah really climbing also overcoming their fears of coming up to you running away from themselves as well the mountain can be seen as an obstacle like really overcoming this obstacle of no contact no communication and running away from themselves but really um doing something in order that you see that they also like you yeah very nice okay that's all what i'm having for you my part three i really love this reading if you like it too please sign up to the channel and please comment and yeah like the video okay See you again. Bye. Hello, my pile four. <clears throat> so you chose this beautiful. Oh, wow. We have a transparent butterfly behind this. <laughs> um, cute. So we chose this beautiful rosé purple butterfly. Very gorgeous. And the card number seven of the fairy tale of Baba Yaga. This is a Russian fairy tale. I don't know if many of you have seen this fairy tale. This is about a witch that um, is living in the forest, you know, and um, we see also these butterflies here again, you know, with the butterfly. This is about you transforming the whole situation and you and your person transforming. 
Baba Yaga is like a witch and um, you know in these fairy tales there are also um, I believe um, movies made about this yeah um, I don't remember exactly but I think this witch was eating children or something I don't know but um, she lives in that house that looks like a chicken you see this here and it, that house is moving around so it's kind of like um, this is like a discovery of something like how can we transfer this fairy tale into our story with you and your divine counterpart like how does that make any sense you know this is in Russia so Russia might be important it's a Russian fairy tale so Russia might be important for you or it doesn't have to be yeah but this is about a situation that's um that you have to escape from yeah and it's almost like Hansel and Gretel the German um pen down where the two kids are in the forest um and find this witch where they have to escape the witch and you know they put her into the oven it's 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 kind of similar to this concept i'm feeling here this is about you facing always situations in that connection where there's like no escape you know it's kind of like you have to go through all these lessons from the universe and you're kind of tired I feel this energy of being tired of always going through lessons and you have to escape this this witch hut all the time and that, that witch is following you with that house it's like almost like you're you're trying to overcome situation after situation and you're completely transforming yourself yeah in this journey and I feel for you and your divine counterparts, it's almost like as if you are lost in this wood, similar to um, Red Riding Hood. But it's like you have to face all these challenges that the universe puts in your way in order to be together. This, this is how I see it. And it's kind of like when you run away from a challenge, this challenge follows you. It's like you can never escape really to, um, to work on yourself. Yeah, A lot of shadows you have to walk through. Yeah, that's the situation. But let's look at more cards. I want to see what's going on in this um, divine counterpart journey here, in the soulmate journey. Why is the Baba Yaga here? Why is this fairy tale here? I don't understand. Let's get four cards. So. <clears throat> so first card out, out is um, Alice in Wonderland. Yeah again yeah it's uh this journey is so special and it's like you know alice in wonderland she goes through all these wonders that happen miracle after miracle i feel that every time you overcome an important part in this journey the universe is sending you another miracle and then you can relax but then you know again the next journey is coming the next um obstacle in this journey is coming it's almost like alice in wonderland Whereas sometimes you're wondering yourself in what kind of journey you are in, like miracle after miracle happening, but also you have to go through shit, right? You have to go through the hell in order to receive some kind of blessing from the universe. So it's a lot about um, transformation. It's, it's the three of cups. There's definitely a third party. It's almost like you're lost in the woods because of some kind of third party on your person's end. That you have to endure. You know, this Baba Yaga is, um, is all about endurance. Also in the woods. Being lost with that witch, right? <laughs> <clears throat> it's almost like um, because of the third party, you have to drink tea. And you have to, you know, you, you get kind of sad news. Maybe you watch your person. Maybe you see what's going on on their end. But you kind of have to wait till it's your turn. That's what I'm seeing. And every time you escape the situation you try to do something else this this baba yaga is following you and another obstacle that you have to get over is coming your way yeah the, the this is the black swan card you know the seven of pentacles this is like the artist death this is you know she has this red shoes and she can dance but you know you you in order look at this they're all black swans yeah usually when we talk about a black swan we talk about a death of a situation a transformation of a situation um i feel here this is the case you know this is um look at this seven three seven might be important seven and three the numbers 
this is about um you you know this is hurt you're hurting yourself because you you kind of don't want to give up you're not going out of the woods i'm feeling like you could give up on this journey by leaving this wood but then i don't know how it was in the movie because i don't remember i've seen this baba yaga movie as a child i think i don't know if this baba yaga house can follow out of the woods out of the forest but i know in the forest it follows you um so as long as you are in the wood trying to hold on that to, to that connection, it kind of follows you and you kind of like, um, you know, you keep on hurting yourself by overcoming all these challenges, but you still stay. Yeah, it's kind of a situation where other people are um, advising you to leave the situation. Like in the Baba Yaga case, you know, people would save those children because, you know, they don't want to get eaten by the witch. Um, but it's kind of like, you're staying in there. You're staying in the woods with your person. On the journey with your person. Because. Because you know it's special. Because you know you are the one wearing the red shoes. You see this here? She's holding up the red shoes. You kind of have a knowledge of what other people don't have. Yeah. I definitely see this is what the case is here. Like other people would advise you to leave the situation to leave a situation behind that's no longer serving you. This could be about an ex or this could be a soulmate where, you know, you're hanging in there since some years and the situation's never really changing. And this is the tea, you know, other people telling you the tea. This is about other people, but you are Alice in Wonderland. So you are in this wonderland. You see these miracles that they don't see. Yeah, you see these rabbits here, um, you know, in Alice in Wonderland. I don't know if they could speak, but you know, you see the miracles, but other people don't. You see these red shoes, other people don't. They don't see that this journey is meant for you. They don't see that this person is meant for you, but you know. It's kind of like you cannot really talk to others about this. You have to stick to yourself, yeah? And that's why this Baba Yaga witch is here. It's like you're kind of haunted by... Um, by giving up this journey because um, you eat yourself. You know what I mean? You hurt yourself. It's like um, other people would definitely tell you, well, the tea is, you know, you're never going to make it with this person. There is the third party. Maybe they are married or there's a third party that's hard to overcome. But you're still sticking in there. Let's see what else we have. Yeah, the magician. Wow. You know you can um, manifest this connection. Look at this. Wow. We have the red roses. You know this is love. Wow, I've never seen this card. This is so gorgeous. It's like you know your own power. You know you can fight this witch. You, you know that you are stronger than this witch. You know it, that you are stronger than your, your shadow self. This is what it's all about. It's about your self-worth. It's about, look at this. All these cards is nothing but you, Pile 4. This connection is very important for your own transformation with a butterfly. Um, it's about you becoming this magician. It's about you manifesting this into reality because you know you are the one. You know you are this swan that has died many times in this wood, swallowed by her, her themselves, you know. Wow, this is believing in yourself. No way! That's your twin flame. I mean, you know that this is your person, right? Look at this. You're, you're kind of also married to this person. I mean, she's she's wearing um, a white dress on the cross. So um, you see yourself belonging in this situation. It's like no one can tell you that what this journey is about. It's like they all, you know, from the outside, everyone wants to give their 10 cents to the situation. That's That's how I feel this here. You know, those are the situations where, you know, they are so magical and so not understandable, almost like Alice in Wonderland, where people are like, they don't get it. Yeah, they don't get it. They would say you're crazy. They would say you're on the cross. You know, you're you're burning yourself. You're, um, you waste your best years. That's what I'm hearing. That's what people say. But you know that this is the two of cups. You know that this is love. You know that you can manifest this. And that's why you work on yourself to become this beautiful butterfly. Yeah, it's like you know the tea. You're the only one that knows the tea. This is gorgeous. But you don't see your counterpart here, right? They don't showing up. Well, they show up here. 
and the two of cups that tells me that it's um you know it's really love like the two of cups is is this card of yes you are one you are twin flames they think the same but they don't show up in the journey so i feel that they have their own journey or at the moment your journey is all about yourself this is about overcoming this um your shadow self of and turning into this butterfly i don't think here the journey has something to do with your person because the third party is there there's someone else that they have to overcome this and you don't know what the third party is i feel your universe wants to leave you out of, as well out of this it's like the journey at the moment is about you trusting yourself about you knowing it's love about you following this path and about you not giving up no matter what the outside world tells you yeah wow it's all about you my path war it's all about you this is like other people don't understand this no one can get it because no one um sees the this connection for what it really is okay wow let's see um what the key is here this is the obstacle that you have to overcome in order to manifest this because you know you can you know you're the magician you know you are the one that can manifest this connection let's see what you have to overcome in order to move out of this baba yaga wood <laughs> i think before we need to watch piles i think it was pile three where she always has to trust in herself and um you know you over you have to overcome the pipe piper the pipe piper is about thinking it's a it's an obsession right i i want to use um the pipe piper we have the butterfly here the guide of wands that's like the let me see if this is the knight of wands or the page of wands Because I want to see what this is. <clears throat> okay, it says, When the town of Hamelin is invested, infested with rats, a mysterious visitor known as the Pipe Piper arrives. He says he will pipe the rats. I, I talked about this in part 3. If you want to watch part 3, the Pipe Piper is in there too. But after he completes the deed, the townspeople do not pay the contract. The Pipe Piper is angry and decides to pipe an enchanting tune that all the children follow him. Oh, that's like the Baba Yaga that eats the children, right? The children is a new beginning. However, one boy attempting to keep up with the others is shut out when the door to the mountain retreat closes before he can enter. The message in this card is that you never know when the muse will suddenly arrive and depart. The muse is the spark of the creative fire within the higher imagination. See, this is this fire of believing in this journey. It can be subtle, fleeting and tricky to understand. The boy represents the part of humanity touched by the muse and aware of its reality, but still unable to find a way to manifest it into the world. In the youth, we witness our need to discover the inner muse once we've been touched by its magic spell. He signifies our unique expression of divine wisdom, for he is unlike the other children. See, this is exactly what it's all about. This is exactly what I said. It's about not being swallowed by Baba Yaga, because you are the child of youth. Yeah, You are the, the divine spark. <clears throat> you know you can manifest your, your wish with your person, because you know you guys are meant to be together. We saw the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups speaks of a um, reciprocated love. This is nothing that, um, you know, when you meet, it will be reciprocated. And you know about this because you are this person that um, you just don't know how to manifest it. And this is about believing in your own power, you know, knowing that you can um, find that person, knowing that you can be with your, that you can find the path. Look, this is also about finding the path. The reds suggest the negative thoughts within the consciousness that require purification, cleansing in the river. The town won't pay the piper because the leaders are stuck in the realm of material values. Look at this. They refuse to value the muse, the power of art artistry. For their blindness and ignorance, they lose their future genius in the form of their children. So this means that, um, you know, along the path also, that's why it's all about you. 
along the path you will meet people that don't believe you they think um you know this is all a luring in story this person is luring you in they're not giving you anything back you know this is like um they might even describe this person to you as the pipe piper who's you know you are obsessed with this person this is just in your imagination yeah i mean for some of us um you know not all of us are on twin flame journeys right or on celebrity counterpart for example journeys it, ca it can't be everyone right and of course um a reality check is important but you know i saw the cards before you know it's love you know it's true you know this um you can manifest you can find the path you just need to believe in yourself you don't need to believe in other people here per four it's all about you it's all about not believing in those people that try to take you away from your path that lure you into thinking you are not special enough that say that this is all in your imagination this is about you know along the journey a lot of times we're getting rid of people that um you know the universe takes out of our lives because they harm they harm our self-worth and they harm our belief system right so this is what i'm seeing here this is the key the key is about believing in the spark believing in the divine and believing in the, that the universe will really um you know guide you towards this person and that you can find out of this wood of this baba yaga and you can manifest this person yeah your counterpart this is gorgeous so let's see how the universe will turn this um baba yaga and in, into what fairy tale they will turn it and this is always for the better it's not something that will turn for the worse so and i have to take it like this because these cards are you know we just opened them they're very thick so let's see wow the ugly duckling this is no joke i said the black swan was here like it's always the answer like in all pies guys i promise this is you becoming the like the white swan. It's like turning from the black swan from always being the cast out. No one believes you. Like you know, like on our channel, like people were like dumping the channel for like just because you know you're voicing a different journey that is also existing in this realm of universe. And this is about a transformation, you know, from the ugly duckling. And we all know the story of the ugly duckling, right? Who who believed <clears throat> or who swam with the ducks and um, also always looked different and never knew why. And then suddenly it's a swan, you know, and it becomes this beautiful swan. So this is all about yourself. This is all about you, Perfor. This is about you believing in yourself, believing that you can make this transformation. Maybe you're going through a diet at the moment or some kind of transformation, working out, um, shaping your body. So believe in yourself, you know. It's something um, where you can transform yourself. Yes, look at this again, transformation. The old self of you that listened to people has to die. Um, you know, the old self of you this version of yourself where you were listening to others and you could not really bring your vision into reality because others were not believing in your vision it's like just do it on your own yeah it's all about you do it on your own once once you transform and you believe in yourself and you believe in the moon power you know the moon power is all about the power of our deepest desires of our unconsciousness of things that we want to achieve but um you know we are hold, held back because of society values because of you know people not believing us that such connections exist people um you know um bullying because they think you're talking shit about stuff you know yeah look at this this is all about speaking your truth and fighting for this the knight of swords this is fighting for this journey speaking your truth and don't give up this is about moving also you know once this transformation has happened um this journey is really moving and you gotta believe in yourself you gotta believe that you are not a duckling but a swan yeah even if you see yourself as a duckling you can transform and you don't oh my gosh you don't have to be eaten by baba yaga you know and you don't have to be eaten by your own fears about yourself that maybe the others are right because i feel this is all about self-doubt pile four it's all about yeah the others are right maybe this doesn't even exist um no we have true love here 
this is definitely with your soulmate with your twin flame this is a, a divinely guided love this is something that needs transformation still you know you you gotta have baba yaga behind you you know you gotta transform you gotta um have situations coming up in your life that you have to overcome you also will have people that you know you have to let go because they don't believe in your journey but this is all the transformation you know that always has to happen right yeah king of swords beautiful this is gorgeous i i don't know why i'm taking i'm taking four cards so it is important um so we see here from the knight of swords to the king of swords you know this is your journey your journey is um you know when you are a knight of sword you are not a king yet you transform from the knight who's very impulsive you know the knight sometimes speaks without thinking and sometimes is very impulsive and very fast without thinking and just rumbles in so um here i feel you gotta learn how to when to speak how to speak and you gotta know that this is your truth and you don't believe in others you know that come in and rumbling your self-worth this is really sticking up to yourself and the hawk always symbolizes this finding of each other you know believing in the journey believing that the universe will find your person for you that you can manifest this because this is your only truth you have the truth in your hand you can transform but you gotta transform in the mind this tells me that this is love yes you you are not wrong guys yeah you and your counterpart this is love it's a divinely guided union it's love but you have to embody or um all the miracles that happening yeah and you gotta switch and and really believe in yourself really transform your old self that believed in people that were telling lies to you yeah i really see that um you know your own truth you speak your own truth and the king of swords is someone that knows um what they're doing you know someone that can absolutely speak their truth and know their truth and they don't believe bs from other people you know otherwise they take their sword and they um you know they bring judgment to people almost like baba yaga right yeah yeah that's all what i'm having guys i hope you like this reading please give it a thumbs up and please um like the video and if you're here for the first time sign up comment <laughs> okay so that's all what i'm having take care bye